Sustainability means that um, you cannot only focus on economic development, economic development is important, but that you need to integrate also some environmental aspects in your day-to-day -day operations and that you also need to look at the social aspects of what you are doing. Uh, in a way, you, you want economic prosperity, you want economic development, but you want it environmentally sustainable and you want it socially inclusive. And that's exactly what we are teaching here at SUMAS. We want to prepare students for leaving our college and be ready to enter corporations, to enter NGOs, to enter government and have a broad view and have a view on what is needed to bring the three components of sustainability, the economy, the ecology and the social aspects together to an overall win-win situation. And we want students, of course, to do this in looking also broadly, not just at one aspect of a whole supply chain. No, we want them to apply life cycle analysis. We want them to look at the roots of uh, what is delivering today the results in society, but we want them to follow the entire life cycle analysis all the way then to the consumer, to the customer, and eventually to the disposal. And when you look at the individual programs that we have within SUMAS, this is exactly what we do. We try to do it with innovation. We try to drive sustainable innovation, looking at some of the key materials, looking at water, looking at energy, and then consider that in the context of economic prosperity and of social inclusion. We give uh, students real projects here at, uh, at SUMAS. I mean, for instance, a typical project that I like to give uh, students is the assignment of imagine you now join a company for the first time and you have a sustainability manager of that company. How would you go about addressing a sustainability question that that company might have? And without wanting to give away here now the solutions to the tasks that I give students in the course, I can share with you that I'm urging students to take a life cycle approach to their thinking, that they should reach out to key stakeholders, of course, within the cooperation, but also outside the cooperation, and then go and really hit on the hard elements, whether this is the energy use, whether this is the water use, the material use of this company. And then eventually, if they, they are encouraged to bring it all together in something which today would typically be a sustainability report, which the vast majorities of companies today in industries are providing because this is expected by external stakeholders, it is expected also by the financial markets. So students learn how to put this all together. After they have done an analysis, they are being asked to put together what are the strategies that they would recommend to the CEO of this company that they are joining and how would they do it importantly in a way that the CEO would not throw them out of his office right away but would engage and would say, hey, these are good ideas. This is the thinking I want to see in my company. This is constructive thinking. This is win-win thinking. Our students, when they leave SUMAS, are well prepared to enter cooperations and to come with a broad mindset that is sensitized to economic prosperity and economic growth, but that also looks at environmental sustainability and also looks at social inclusion. So these students will join corporations and they will approach it with a win-win mindset.